Hello, Anna. Hello, teacher. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So, how was you? How are you today? Hmm. Um. Happy with my brother. My brother my is here. Can I see? Hi, Xin Chào. Xin Chào. Xin Chào đi. Xin Chào. Chào buổi sáng. Chào buổi sáng. Nè. Nè đi. Okay, what what's his name? His name is Mian. 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 Again, again. Mian. 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 Ah, Mian. Yes, Mian is mean ocean. Oh, really? Very nice. How about your name? What is the name of your name? Name? Yeah, what's the meaning of... Um, wait a minute, what's your Vietnamese name again, Anna? Bien. Yeah, how about you? What's your Vietnamese name? Uh, I... Mm. No. Again, again, what is it? Down. No. Down. Yes. Down oh. is mean. Uh, oh, what does it mean? I don't oh. know. <laughs> You don't know the meaning. Okay, anyway. So, all right. So, have you eaten your breakfast now? Soup. Soup. Wow, very good. So, who cooked that soup? Mm, grandma. Now your grandma. Okay. Why? Is your mom um, on the office? Yes. Uh, she's at work. Okay. All right. So, for today, Anna, we're... Um, having a class, okay? Because because last night we were not able to have a class because um, here in our city there's no electricity and water, also the internet. All right. So are you ready, Anna? Yes. Okay. Very good. Oh wait, I have seen your video. Uh, your mom sent it to me. Yeah, very nice. Where where is that place? Is that outside your house? Yes. Oh, okay, very good. Okay, so let's begin. All right, so our lesson for today is, oh, can you read it, Anna? Unify the woman, the woman in the red dress. Yes, the woman in the red dress. Okay, so what can you say about the picture? I see the woman where the... Red dress. Yeah, so tell me something about her dress. Is it beautiful? Yes. Okay, very nice. So, so do you have a dress like that? No. Uh, no, okay, me too. I don't have a dress like that. But it's very nice if you wear it, right? Yes. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so here in this picture, Anna, there are some different kinds of clothes, okay? Yes. So now, Anna, what can you say about picture number one? What is it? 
pants. Okay. So, picture number one, you call it pants or trousers. In English, we call it trousers, okay? Yes. So, how about in Vietnam? How do you call it? Quân. Again? Quân. Yes. All right. Quân. So, um... And when you go to school, Anna, do you wear trousers or skirt? I also wear trousers. I also wear trousers. What day do you wear trousers? I wear every day. Every day. Oh, very nice. So why do you have to wear trousers, not skirts? Because I don't like skirt. Oh, why? Mm. Yeah. 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 All right, so how about picture number two, Anne? What is it, Anna? Skirt. Skirt. Okay, now picture number two, what is it? Skirt. No, picture number two is not a skirt. What is it? I don't know. Picture number two is scarf, not skirt, okay? Yes. Oh, that is a scarf. So where do you wear a scarf, Anna? In winter. Yeah, in winter. In Anna, in what part of the body do you wear your scarf? Neck. Yes, very good. In the neck. Okay. So how about in Vietnam, Anna? Do you also wear a scarf on winter? Yes. Why? Why do you have to wear a scarf? Because if um, is uh, have my neck warm. Okay. So you wear a scarf so that your neck will feel warm. Yes. Okay, very nice. So next one, next one, Anna, what is picture number three? Shirt. No, that's not a shirt. I don't know. You call it? Coat. Coat, yes. All right. So, in what kind of weather do you wear a coat? Mm. Winter. Okay, winter. And what else? Summer. Again, again, again? Summer. Okay, now, in, in what kind of weather? Winter and... Summer. Summer, no. Summer is very hot. Oh, when? When do we use um, coat aside from winter? Fall. Okay, we use it. When it's very rainy, okay? So, you wear a coat to serve as a protection for your body so that you won't get wet and you, go, you won't get wet in the rain and um, you, will, you will feel warm during winter season, okay? Yes. All right, so how about you, Anna? Do you have a coat? Yes. Okay, good. What's the color of your coat? Color? Yeah. 
Mm. Uh, uh, red, maybe, red. Maybe, maybe it's pink. No, red oh. and white. Red and white, very nice. All right, so how about the last picture, Anna? What is it? Sweater. Sweater, okay. So, so in this kind of clothes, when do you wear this? Winter. Yes, very good. In winter season, okay. All right, so now, Anna, let's answer activity letter A. Find the words for the pictures and write them on the line, okay? So as you oh. can see, we have here an example. Number one is a scarf, okay? So how about number two, Anna? Can you write what is it on the picture? I have a book like this. Oh, really? Very nice. Oh, wait a minute. So you, you write your answer first on the blank no. of number two. My mom, my mom, my mom. Oh, what? What about your mom? I don't know. What do you call picture number two, Anna? Sweater. Sweater. All right. Can you can you write sweater there? Okay. Are you are you writing it now? Okay, now Anna, Anna, you have to write your answer also here on the blank, here. You write also, okay? No. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Okay, be careful. Hmm. Hmm. Difficult. Is it difficult? Wait for me. I can't cry. You can't cry? Is it difficult? Okay, anyway. Oh, where's your answer now in the puzzle? Oh, you just you just encircle your answer on the puzzle. The weather. Okay, let's check. 
Number two, sweater is correct. How about number three, Anna? So you wear this on winter so that you can oh. feel warm. Okay, number three, coat is also correct. How about number four, Anna? Okay, this is something that you put your things on. Wow. But, yes, when you travel, when you go to school, or wherever you go, you can bring this one with your things inside it. Bag is correct, number five. Oh, what is this? You wear it on your easy. head. Oh, easy. easy. What? What is it? Hat. Very good. It's a hat. Can I see it? Yes, of course. Hat is correct. On number six, what is it? You wear it on your feet. Shoe. Yes, it's a shoe. Now, where is the shoe? Okay, shoe or shoes is correct. When it's only one, we call it shoe. When it's two, we call it shoes. Okay, number seven, Anna. Seven. Mm -hmm. I think it's a coat. Mm, no, it's not a coat. Shirt? Yes. Okay, shirt is correct. Okay, very good. How about the last one? And it's number eight. You wear this on your feet. <clears throat> okay, huh? now, now where is socks? Socks, socks, socks. Where is it? Okay. Socks is correct. Okay, good job, Anna. So you're able to get one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven points. Okay, very good. It's a perfect score. Okay, now Anna, let's have Q and A. Oh, what do you mean by Q and A? Now, what do you mean by Q and A, Anna? Do you know? Q and A? Yes, what does it mean? Q and A. The letter. Okay, it's a letter. And then what else? Aside from letter, what does it mean? Q and A. I don't understand. Uh, Q means question and A means? Answer. Very good. That is what Q and A means. So, all right. Number one, Anna. Who is wearing a shirt today? Teacher Bian. Ah, oh, Teacher Bian. Okay, how about you? What are you wearing? Huh? What are you wearing today? Shirt. 
No. Uh, oh, it's not a shirt. You call it um, sleeveless, okay? <clears throat> you call it sleeveless because there's no sleeves. While me, I am wearing a shirt. And then the print is an ice cream. Oh, look, it's an ice cream. Okay, next one. Who is wearing a sweater? Do you know anybody is wearing a sweater today? No. Why not? Because it is summer. Yeah, it's summer. Therefore, when it's summer, what is the what's the um what's the weather? Or what's the yeah, what's the weather when it's summer? It's hot. It's hot, of course, yes. So, are you wearing socks when you go to school? Mm. When i wearing a shoe, I wear a shirt. But, yes. So, when you're wearing a shoes, you wear socks, yes. So, why do you have to wear socks? I don't know. Mm, okay, so people wear socks because um, people wear socks because it's a protection to your feet, okay? It is a protection for your feet when you wear a shoes. So what's the color of your socks, Anna? White. Yellow, many colors. White, yellow, and a lot of colors. Okay, so how about your shoes? What's the color of your shoes when you go to school? White and black. White and black. Okay, very nice. Next one. Have you got a coat with you today? No. Okay, why? Why do you have? Why don't you have a coat there? Because this is very hot to wear yes. a coat. Yes, it's very very hot. Also here in the Philippines, it's very very hot. Oh, okay. So now, what are your favorite clothes? Policeman. Again. Policeman. No, no, no. Ah, is that your favorite clothes? Policeman? Yes. Why? Why policeman? Because I like it. Why? Do you want to be a policewoman when you grow up? No. Oh, why? Why do you, why do, why do you want to wear a policeman costume? Because I like it. Because you like it. That's the only answer? Yeah. Because you like it. Okay. So now, Anna, let's have some take note. All right. Can you read what's this, Anna? A pair of to describe trousers. Trousers? Trousers? Trouser, jams, socks, shoes, and glasses. A pair mean too. And that's in English what thing about wearing trousers and jams on two legs, socks and shoes on two feet, and glass on two eyes okay very good so it means that it explains here that you use the word a pair of because it means always it because it means that it's always two for example a pair of trousers because it has two feet like that right oh yeah. next one a pair of socks because you have two feet a pair of shoes because you have two feet and a pair of glasses because you have two Eyes. Ah. 
Yes. All right. So now, Anna, let's answer letter B. Find the words in the box for five more things that you wear. Okay, now, Anna, what are the five things that you wear? Can you tell me? Mm, shirt. Okay, shirt. Trouser. Again, again. Trouser. Mm -hmm. Shoes. Shock. Socks. And glasses. And glasses. Glasses. All right. So you mean you're wearing glasses? Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you, you mean you wear glasses? I wear it when I go to swimming. Ah, okay. Why? Ah, glasses means um, sunglasses? Yes. Oh, I thought eyeglasses. So it means that it's a uh, sunglasses. Okay, so here are some examples, okay? A pair of trousers, t-shirt, skirt, a pair of glasses, and a dress. Okay, well, anyway, Anna, let's answer letter E, uh, C activity. Choose the correct words from A or B and write them on the lines. Okay. So, in number one, this is an example. In cold weather, you can wear this round your neck. So, the answer is a scarf. Okay, how about number two, Anna? Can you read an answer? Yeah. It is like... A very long jacket, which you can wear outside. Okay, so what is it? This is like a very long jacket, which you can wear outside. Is that a coat? Let's see. Yes, coat is correct. How about number three? You can wear this on your feet, in inside your shoes. Okay. Easy. 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 What is it? Sock. Yes, socks is correct. It's very easy. Number four. People, people can put their things into this. And then carry it. Easy, easy, easy. Easy again, or what is it? Bag. Bag, very good. Okay, last one, number five. A pair of these can help some people to read a book. Pair? Mm. Is that glasses? All right, a pair of glasses or glasses is correct. Very good. This is very easy, right? Okay, perfect score again for you. So, okay, so now, Anna, let's answer letter D. Say the words. Okay, now, Anna, can you read the words here? Yes, I can swim. No. I can't fly. All right. Yes, I can swim. No, I can't fly. Okay, so here. Pronounce the can here as can. For example, I can read. I can write. When we follow can by another verb, we say can more quickly. Okay. So it's just the pronunciation of the word can't. Okay, look at this one, Anna. This is activity letter E. Write the words from A and B in the table. Okay, now, Anna, we are going to um, write some kinds of clothes here, okay? So in the top half, there's an example, a scarf, okay? So what else can we wear on the top half of our body? 
scarf. Okay, there's scarf all, already. What else aside from scarf? Coat. No, coat is on the top and bottom half. It means it's only on top, on top only from from the head up to the shoulders. So what do you, what can you wear? From head to shoulders, what can you wear? Hat. Yes, hat can be. Okay, I will type. Hat, what else? Glasses. Hat. Glasses, or what else? Hmm. Scarf. Star. So on. Oh, we're finished with scarf. There's an example. Hat, glasses, and what else? Uh, from the head up to shoulders. What can we wear from head up to shoulders? Mm. Oh, hat, hat, glasses, that's all? Oh, next one, let's go to the bottom half. Okay, bottom half, it means that something we wear on the waist going down. From our waist up to the feet. So what can we wear? So example is a pair of socks. What else? Mm, trouser. Okay, let's let's try trouser. What else? Mm, shoes. Shoes. Don. What else? Trousers, shoes. Shock. Uh, there's us already as an example. Come on. What? Uh, can you think of another one? Okay, now let's go to top and bottom half. Uh, example, it means that you wear this from the body going down. Mm, shirt? Oh, no. No, not shirt. Because shirt is, it must be on the top half. Trousers. Our trousers is already finished. It means that it's something long. Long? Mm -hmm. It's something long. Socks? No, it's not socks. <laughs> Skirt. Skirt. Okay. Let's see. Skirt. What else? Oh, this is something that girls always want to wear. It's long. Dress. Okay, dress. So now let's check it out. So in the top half, we can wear, we can wear glasses, hat, sweater, shirt, and t-shirt. So in the bottom half, we can wear shoe, skirt, and trousers. In the top and bottom half, we can wear a dress, dress only. Okay, let's put a tick. Glasses and hat, shoe and trousers and dress okay five points for you anna very good all right now oh this is very nice 
So as you can see, there is a picture of yes. um, a lot of people, okay? So look at the picture in, um, on the screen, Anna, and I want you to describe it, okay? What can you say about it? <clears throat> I don't understand. Okay, you have to describe the picture. What can you say about it? A skirt? No, 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 no. Describe it. The, the, the people are on the park or something like that. What else can you say? I don't know. Okay, you have to tell me something about the picture, okay? So I can, example, I can see lots of people playing around in the park. What else can you say? I see the boy that playing football. Yes. The girl is playing basketball. Mm hmm one, one, uh, one man is walking. Mm -hmm. It's walking. One, uh, one girl and one boy is getting one woman and one baby is sitting on the chair. Yes, that's correct. One spider is playing football. Mm -hmm. So on. That's all? Yes. Okay. Very good. So there's a man with a beard, the girl with short brown hair, the boy is wearing a pair of glasses, the tall girl who's roller skating, the girl with the long red hair, and the girl in the purple skirt and t-shirt. Okay, wait a minute, Anna. All right. So now, Anna, where is the woman in the red dress? Can you encircle it? The uh, woman with the red dress. The woman with the dress is sitting on a chair with her son. Yes, okay. So this is it. It's on the chair or on the seat. Okay, so now, Anna, let's see. All right, so now, Anna, I will be playing an audio and you have to write a line on the name going to the picture, okay? Yes. Let's begin. 5F, the woman in the red dress. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Hello, Grandma. Look at this picture in my storybook. Wow! Who are all these people? Well, the boy who's wearing glasses is called Peter. I like his white T-shirt. Me too. He's really good at football. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Who's that girl? The one who's eating an ice cream? The small girl on the green seat? Yes. She looks happy. Well, it's her birthday. Her name's Anne. She's two now. Two. And there's John. Which boy is that? He's the one with <coughs> three eyes and four feet. What? 
Oh, do you mean the monster? That's right. He looks like an alien. Yes, he does. Three. What about that man? The one with the beard? Who's he? He's one of the boy's grandfathers. He's watching the game. What's his name? Tom. Everyone in the story likes him because he's very funny. Four. Two girls are skating. Can you see them? Where? Oh, yes. Are they sisters? No. One of them is called Jane. Which one? The one wearing the hat. She's got long blonde hair. Look! Five. And look at Lucy. What's she doing? She's riding her bike. She loves doing that. Is she the girl in the pretty pink skirt? Yes, Grandma. That's right. Okay, so let's check out your answers. Oh, okay, this is the woman is Anne, correct? Oh, yeah. Next, the monster is named John. The old man is named Tom. The girl skating is named Jane. The other, oh, wait a minute. Okay, the girl who's biking is names is Lucy. Okay, very good. So five points for you here, Anna. All right, very good. It's a perfect score for you. All right, so well, anyway, Anna, that ends our activity for today, okay? So I'm going to see you again tomorrow at night on our class, all right? Oh, what's that? Ruby. Oh, it's only four. Two by two. Not uh, two by two, you call it two by two, okay? Can you finish it? I want to see yeah. it. Four by four. Oh, how about two by two? Can you finish it? I want to see it. Um, three by three. Three by three, okay. I want to see the two by two. Where's the two by two? Okay, can you finish the colors? I want to see it. Yes. colors very good you know what i don't know how to do it very good anna you're so amazing okay very nice i'm so happy because you were able to do it like that like that and then you're finished okay good job anna all right so that's all for today and i'm going to see you again tomorrow okay bye bye, bye anna see you again